When I first walked into Bible Club, my breath was literally taken away. I had sort of had these preconceived notions of what it would what it would look like and what it would feel like, and everything was just to the nth degree beyond that. Um, just the fact that it it looks like a time capsule and feels like a time capsule and, and just kind of has that vibe is just incredible. It was like um, seeing a museum for the first time, just being completely stricken how cool it was. Just everything from like the molding to the flooring to um, you know the frames around the windows. I feel like this is this is how it was supposed to be and it's kind of nice to see it back to its original magic. Sitting in an old seat like letting things creak like a little bit. There's something very very important about a bar's atmosphere. It was, it was pretty unbelievable taking a look at everything. At first look, you think that maybe some of this stuff is uh, fabrication or remake, um, but then you realize everything is original. It's originally from the 1900s, early 1900s or late 1800s, and you realize how truly special this place is. Uh, it really sets the vibe. And then when you get behind the bar and you realize that all the tools are actually the tools that these uh, craftsmen would have used uh, in the late 1800s or early 1900s, then you realize that you've stepped back in time. that it's in this old 1922 Craftsman was the selling point for me. It was, it, it, it was Grandma's house. And it's, it's so perfectly Grandma's house. Everyone thought that I was gonna paint it some outrageous color or do something. And I said, no, that, that, that's the whole point, is it looks like Grandma's house. When people walk in here and they're, they always ask like, I was like, I want to go on the, on the grand tour of the Bible Club. And they ask, how long has this place been here? And I'm like, 15 months. And it's funny because it's true. Um, everything, does, nothing looks like it's 15 months at all. It all looks like it's 110 years old, because it is. It's definitely a, a bartender's playground back there with all the beautiful period glassware. Um, you know, even the simplest cocktails just look out of control, amazingly beautiful in the glassware. In terms of 
using period specific tools, it's, it's kind of been fun because there's a little bit of a unlearning. You're kind of getting rid of some of your bad habits um, with traditional bartending and kind of getting back to the basics. To walk into something like this, I mean with a 24 karat gold ceiling, real 24 karat gold, you don't really get to see that kind of stuff or, or make an environment where people just, their jaws drop and go, holy shit. Like they know there's a certain reverence about it. When we start talking about Bible Club, the first thing I thought of was, oh, well, if everything is from 1925 in this place, let's go ahead and make our food in that theme. Bringing like even old, old food trends along with our classic cocktails. We have classic French. I think that's it's a good combination, and as far as this town's concerned, um, there's not that much of it. And to, to me, that's like a good, it's a good sign that uh, at least I won't have too many comparisons. I get to be very unique out there, especially in this neighborhood. This is exactly the type of place I would see myself bartending. Um, and it's almost kind of like, you know, you hit the employment lottery when you walk into a place like this. It's, it's pretty incredible. I hope when people walk out of Bible Club that they feel special, like they feel that they had a moment that was created specifically for them and that they were the most important person here and that it was just tailored to them. And when they leave, they feel like this is a place that they can come back and it's, it's going to be memorable every time. It's a full sensory experience of from cocktail food to environment to music to smell to sound. I, I see Bible Club as a place for learning and a place for celebration and a place for creating meaningful memories. And that's something that I definitely think stands out far and away uh, in bars in Portland.